What is a satellite? How are they built and launched? And what happens when they retire? We'll explore more in a few seconds. Technically, a satellite is any object that orbits around a celestial body, like a planet, a moon, or a star. So is Earth a satellite of the sun? Yes. Is the moon a satellite of Earth? You bet. But let's talk about the satellites that are human-made. The very first artificial satellite was named Sputnik 1. It didn't really do anything but send a signal back to Earth, letting everyone know it was there. But it proved we could put an object into space. And in 1957, that was a really big deal. In the nearly 70 years since that launch, almost 18,000 satellites have been put into orbit around Earth. They're built here on Earth, of course, but they don't get to space on their own. They hitch a ride on a launch system, or as most of us know it, a rocket. To tell us a little more about that process, let's ask an expert. It starts with designing the satellite. What type of satellites are you designing for? Is it a satellite for weather monitoring? Is it a satellite for Earth's observation? Is it a satellite to communicate to an airplane so you can serve the internet while you're on, on a plane? So that's the designing part of the satellite. That's where everything starts. Then you start procuring units. And the units come and you build up the satellite like you would build up your house, right? So depending on the size of the satellite and also depending how far in space you want to go, that will define the type of launch vehicle you, you're going to use. So that's how satellites are born, but what happens when they get old? When they run out of fuel or become obsolete, they either fall back toward Earth and burn up safely in our atmosphere, or they get placed in a graveyard orbit, very, very high above Earth and other satellites. And that's where they stay, forever. And now you know a little more about satellites. Join us next time when we'll explore the parts of a satellite and what they do.